What's going on everybody and welcome back to another satisfactory video where last time we designed this fuel plant and made it look pretty good. Now even though we designed this and made it look pretty good, it's still not done. So let's get you all caught up on what we've been doing on the stream for the last few days. First we took all of the gens from inside and added them to the pile outside so we could finally use all the fuel that we're producing to make that 20,000 megawatts. The next thing we've done is added this little border around the top of the building to kind of tie in the roof all together. Also at the same time, we've started adding a foundation to the building, allowing it to actually look a bit more realistic. In addition, we filled this little void that we had here with some power storage buildings. They're connected on a separate grid, powering one machine at 1%, allowing them to make their discharge animation, and I think it looks pretty cool. After that, we finally fixed our resin output. Now we are outputting plastic and rubber, which we can export later on down the line. And after avoiding a power failure due to valves starving our generators, we are finally able to take a pause on this building and start working on other projects. And that's what today's video is all about. We are going to be deleting almost every building we've made so far because they are all subpar. I mean, look at this. What did I make? We gotta fix this. And the best way I know how to fix it is to tear everything down and start from scratch because we need a new base anyways. You see this? This is gonna get the delete. This, also getting the delete. And this, you guessed it, is also getting the delete. One of the few things that will be staying will probably be our rail network because I do like that. We just gotta add some supports to it and it'll be good. But in order to make our next facility, we have to get to the desert which means we gotta make a rail network through this canyon. Okay, and after a couple hours now, for sure, streaming on Twitch, we've kind of gotten our road a most, probably most of the way there, definitely over halfway. And let me just show you kind of where we're at over here. So I think what we'll end up doing here is we're gonna go out, I don't know exactly how far yet, but we're gonna wanna go out here and we're gonna wanna round this corner and kind of get over to probably over there somewhere. I think we're going to build our next main factory that will supply all of our building needs uh, over here in the desert. So after a little bit of a experimentation, uh, we got our road all the way through here and we just need to blueprint the rest of it up there. So that won't be too hard, but the uh, time consuming part will be uh, making the road and connecting power along the way because we have to go for each outlet on every single support. And some of you might be saying, well, you could just use train rails to run your power. And while I can run power that way, I can't run power to our lights that you have here, which light up the railway. And that is something that I would like to have at night. So for that reason, we will be running our power cord all the way down. And then in the future, if we ever need to pull power off of this, we will we can pull power from any point on here. Very simple. So I'm gonna keep working over here and we're gonna get this all uh, built. Okay, and we are back over here by our starter factory where I have made this fun little device right here and we kind of get sent to the next dimension. But you guys are probably gonna recognize this as our train rail system. Oh boy, we're going too fast. We are going too fast. Uh, okay, we got it. I must get it back. Lisa, hurry, faster. Why don't you run faster? And we are back. As you can see, right over here. It's actually not super far away. This is our road and train rail system brought all the way up to here. It's not uh, connected, but it is in the area and we can pull power from it. As you can see, I have done. And now we have a hypertube launcher, uh, so we can quickly get from uh, the one side of the map to the other. This will get me right about to our starter factory, and then I have a smaller one that will get send me from the starter factory to the fuel plant. So those are the only cannons that I have made, uh, and I finally made them after a while, but we can take this back whenever we need. The idea is that we build over here for our new, you would say starter factory, but it's really just a material factory for us to be able to supply ourselves with all the materials we need to build in this world. Yeah, because it's kind of like crazy. So let's go look at the other project we got going on. Okay, and we are over here in the northern forest. I just grabbed the sulfur that was here and the coal. And we are ready to unlock, I think. Uh, let me, I think I need to grab some materials. Nope, we got them. We are ready to unlock black powder. Now, this will allow us to get the Nobelisks, which uh, I've been having a big problem with foliage clipping through our roads. And the best way to deal with that in Satisfactory is uh, to blow it to kingdom come. So that is what we're going to be doing. But we just have to unlock a few milestones first. So it's about time that we get our black powder cooking up. Now, I just got to wait for about 50 of this to uh, build up. Okay, and we got our 50 black powder we're gonna unlock this and then we can make our 
Noblesk and our detonator. We can also unlock the extra hand slot, which we will be doing. I just need an extra 100 for that. So we delete all that. And just like that, we have doubled our black powder output, but we do need some steel pipes. So let me go grab some of those real quick. After adding a bunch of steel pipes and a little storage, we now have some Noblesks. And that means we're finally ready to, I'd say throw a couple and just a couple. I think that should be plenty. Nice. Unfortunately, they don't blow up the presents, but these will still work great for clearing our roads. And for the first time in the series, we can actually get rid of these stink bombs or stink rocks, stink farts, whatever you want to call them. Good riddance. Good update, Coffee Stain. Good job. Okay, and now that all of those shenanigans are out of the way, we can start updating and making some new blueprints, which is going to be vital for our next build. We want to make our blueprints in a modular design so that they can fit in all of our production areas and we can interchange them however we want. It's going to make building this factory so much easier. So I'm going to go through all of our blueprints delete the work in progress ones, ones that never got finished, or ones that are just purely useless now, and then reorganize, and we're gonna come back and design some new ones. Okay, so all of our blueprints are gonna follow the same modular design like I said before, and we're gonna use the 4x4 foundation of the blueprint designer as our canvas. Now, all of these blueprints will be raised off of the ground, so we have room for logistics below, and that way we can make our blueprints to where they hide all the logistics automatically. We won't have to run any logistics other than connecting each blueprint, so it's gonna be super easy. Okay, so this is gonna be the general idea of most of the blueprints. I want them all to have the same type of build style, so it's consistent in the factory. So on both the uh, input and the output, uh, I have the belt and a conveyor floor hole sending it below but i've encased the logistics in these frame pillars which is something that many people have done before and added a road barrier below to kind of support the look and i think in a factory this will look a little cool we can always add more things to this later on but this is the base design for the power we're just running the power cable inside on some wall outlets and this beam goes from one end to the other so it'll connect to the next blueprint and whenever our production line is done we can just run it straight down through the floor so all this is very simple and we just got to connect all the logistics down below all right and after a bit of time it's looking pretty good so we've changed the foundations to grip metal and i like having a different type of foundation for production uh, areas it makes it easier to plan and more distinct when you're building underneath we got everything connected all this is uh, level four belts so we have input on one side output on the other all going the same direction and the blueprint is labeled with a left to right so i know which one is which which is uh very helpful by the way so make sure you do that in your own builds along with this blueprint we've also created foundation blueprints if i just grab out my foundation blueprint i have a you can see i have a grip metal foundation and i have a concrete one concrete we're going to use to mark pathways walkways and stuff that is not production grip metal will be production all these have all of these blueprints have connections down below to power everything below which means we can use our hover pack before we start building and don't have to worry about running out of power which is going to be very helpful Future Kylo will love that. But before we can start building this area, we do need to go get some more Caterium. Let's go do that. Okay, and after coming back and getting uh, a bunch of Caterium, uh, we got plenty of that. You can see all of these foundations are in a blueprint and I can fly across every single one, even though we don't have any power on the top, which is the goal. We have a present coming down. Huh. And then also we have big production lines here. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna be, but we have the ability to just just delete a blueprint like so and continue a production and continue a production line right here. So it is very modular and this will pair very well with our construction blueprint, which I will show you in just one second. We've also added blueprints for assemblers, foundries, and smelters. They all follow the exact same uh they all follow the basic design of the construction blueprint, but they have just a bit more. For our production lines, all we are gonna have to do is create a subfloor for our logistics. 
one time, like right here, like I've done, and then we can snap it off of the bottom, just like this. We can then place it however we want, and you can see our outputs are facing inside this way, but we can whip that around if we ever wanted to. And you can see how quickly we could continue this by sampling the blueprint and we don't even need to build a logistic floor we can just sample like that this will make building our factory very easy considering i don't know the exact amount of space we will need so we can continue building as far as we need on top of our modular design it will be very easy to expand upwards as well which is always a bonus and we probably will be doing that as i don't want a really long thin build straight south. That is an interesting present location, my friend. But I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. I know today probably seemed pretty boring and like a lot of busy work, which it kind of was, but we did this all live on Twitch. Everybody was chatting, having a good time, discussing Satisfactory and different builds and what people are doing in their own saves. If you want to know my stream schedule, it will be linked on my Twitch, which I will have in the description. Next episode, we will be starting on our quote unquote mega factory which again is more of just a general goods production i'm very excited to start using the modular blueprints we're creating today and the only other blueprint we're missing right now is a support for our rail system which still is floating like a weird piece of garbage but if you guys do want to see more builds like the fuel plant in the last episode make sure to subscribe like comment all that good stuff and we'll see you in the next one peace I'm slick with words, tongue sharp, you left in thirds. You pitching verbs, I knock it out, I'm flipping birds. While smoking herbs, I'm blocking out what often hurts. I'm moving herds, it's me, my family, money merge. We crave the day that we can find.